I think justice, um, at least like what I get from it from the Bible, is just like that we are treated the way that we have deserved to be treated. Um, and like, not like karma, not like, oh, if you do good, you'll get good, but like more of the sense of like, just that God desires for all of us to be in the same place and that we treat ourselves and treat others in the way that we also want to be treated. And then that in turn, we get treated wherever it is in that same way. Yeah, I agree with you, Mike. Like justice means getting what we deserve. And I think that most of the time our minds kind of go to the bad side of that. Like, oh, we've been bad, so we deserve bad things. But really, there's a, there's a really good component to this. So oftentimes, especially in the Old Testament and the prophets, Justice means that the, the poor are lifted up, the oppressed are lifted up, that everyone is put on this equal play, playing field, that justice means that we all get what we deserve and we deserve the good and great things that God wants to give us. Yeah, and even in that, like, as you're talking about that, my brain just goes to like this picture of there, if there's this line right here, that if there's people down here that they're brought up, but even in that, the people that are above here, what Jesus wants, it's not to bring them down, but Jesus wants for them to use what they have been blessed with to bring these people up to where they are. Yeah, justice means using our privilege and power to be able to, to lift everyone up um, so that we all are lifted up in the end. Another way that we can um, use what we have to, to promote different types of justice, to promote racial justice or gender justice or economic justice, is to use our voice to lift up others, um, to use uh, the gifts that we have been given to, 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 help, to help others who maybe, who maybe need to be lifted up. And sometimes that means stepping aside and letting others speak who, who maybe haven't had the opportunity to speak. Yeah, pass the microphone to someone who hasn't had the opportunity to give their voice to the conversation, who hasn't been able to be in the room when decisions are being made, when input is being given, you know. Uh, we talked a little bit about this, in, about community, the importance of community being diverse and, and that that's what makes a good thriving community um, successful and the same is true. like. With um, understanding justice, it means that all voices deserve to be heard, um, that all of the, our different uh, differences that makes us worthy and unique, that deserves the right to, to be um, shown equal worth, right? Justice is, is a characteristic that God cares about. Justice is, is the heartbeat of God. God wants to see everyone lifted up. And, and he, God uses communities like ours to, to, to make that happen. I heard a quote one time and it has stuck with me since I was in high school. And it, it was just super simple. The cross is on even ground. And that like whenever we're coming to the cross representing Jesus and representing God, um, whenever we come to the cross, like it's all even. There's not different levels of Christianity. There's not different levels in anything and I think the important thing that we have to do in order to see this vision through is we have to identify. I think another way we can help make Res Life and our church community a more just place is, is be on the lookout for when we're not being just. Look, be on the lookout for those injustices in our own space and in the communities around us and, and saying, hey, what we're doing here this doesn't represent God or, or this doesn't represent the kind of uh, equality and justice and fairness that God would want for us and we can be better than this. Yeah. And it starts right here with what we're doing. We're having conversation about it, right? We're creating, opening dialogue um, and that's something it may seem, I don't know, weird or it may seem hard or difficult but that's something that I encourage us to continue to do with our friends so students doing with their friends, like talking about it, talking about justice. What does that mean? What does that look like? Um, and then identifying it within our friend groups, within our communities, but making sure that we keep this conversation open. You know, it's not like just done today because we talked about it, but like making sure that we continue to talk about it.